हे गाइस इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आईटी जे किसी भी क्लास में हो एंड वंडरिंग कि यार आईटी में टॉप रैंक्स कैसे आती हैं चलो हु बेटर देन प्रणव हिमसेल्फ आज दिस क्वेश्चन एंड हु इज प्रणव प्रणव हैज गॉट 100 परसेंटाइल इन जे मेंस राउंड 2 एग्जामिनेशन बच्चों 100 परसेंटाइल टू 95 मार्क्स आउट ऑफ 300 हु बेटर देन हिम टू आंसर दीस क्वेश्चंस सो हैंग ऑन टिल द एंड यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम व्हिच बुक्स टू स्टडी हाउ टू मैनेज योर शेड्यूल कितने घंटे पढ़ना होता है and what all needs to be done to get this top rank in IIT so be there chalo let's talk to pranav so i'm i'm pranav anand sir ji and i'm originally from kerala but i'm an nri student uh, studying in dubai so i started my jee preparation 11 uh, starting was a bit slow and then but then i gradually got interested in how competitive the exam was and how much so now tell me one thing so children always want to know What is the daily schedule of these toppers? What do these toppers do? So, what was your daily schedule? Uh, so, I used to go to regular school. So, after coming from school, I used to study for approximately maybe five to six hours, and then uh, on weekends, as much as I used to study as much as possible, like approximately ten to twelve hours. So, were you like like an eight hour studying or a ten hour studying kid, or it was all about the the plan? So, I used to only uh, follow like short term goals. I never really kept a time. So uh, I used to like keep in mind like I have to complete this task by this uh, like by this deadline. So tell me one more thing. So were you uh, when you were in class eleventh? Did you know that you are going to crack IIT? And if yes, then what was your target? J advance or J mains? I used to uh, basically target J advance only. I used to, like let my results do the work like that or my hard work do the work. So and you are a Vedantu Eklavya student, right? When did you start solving the Vedantu Eklavya modules religiously? So, uh, I I joined Eklavya in the end of Feb, and in, during that time my, my board exam was going on. So in, uh, during that time I started doing it, but it was a bit slow because I had to prepare for board exams also. So from ninety nine point nine nine percentile in J mains one to your hundred percentile now, right? So it's been some amazing yeah. journey. So, did your solving extremely high-level questions of uh, Eklavya module, Eklavya J Advanced module? So, did it help, or were you still preparing for J Mains in between? So, what what was your plan? No, no, no. I already studied for J Mains like approximately like two or three days before the exam. I used to I just revised in orga uh, in organic and NCERT from uh, in NCERT. Doing the Eklavya modules helped a lot to improve like my speed and my thinking thinking ability. I was able to like. It gave me confidence that they can't like I I won't lose a mark because I don't know the question. I, even if even if I don't know, I will be I'll be able to think it uh, think of it and solve it as soon as possible. So, what do you suggest to those students like you who score up upwards of ninety nine percentile in J mains? So, do you suggest them to prepare for J mains or do you suggest them to prepare for J advanced only? If you if you prepare for advanced, I think it will uh, automatically help your preparation for J mains as well. Like for me, the main thing was. I was relatively more calm in the second attempt than the first attempt, and that helped me to avoid mistakes during the exam. Amazing! So, bacho, so you heard this? So, when you set your eyes at heaven, you at least reach the sky, right? So, this is exactly what happened with Pranav as well. So, he started preparing for J advanced, and J mains second round became a cakewalk for him, right? His thinking ability, you know, drastically enhanced. Now, that brings me to another thing. So, Vikas sir keeps telling the students that you know what. from especially students like you from attempt 1 to attempt 2 you need to target 300 marks right and you reach 295 so tell me more about the, these golden words of vikas sir and the advices that's like the main thing i would say because you have to always like aim for the best as as much as you can so, and during that maybe you might lose like two or three marks but then you'll still really you still obviously achieve a really good result in the way so tell me your individual marks in this exam Uh, so I got a uh, hundred in maths and physics and ninety-five in chemistry. Hundred in maths, hundred in physics, and ninety-five in chemistry. Oh, that is insane, right? So, so the maths is the subject which students, you know, uh, are afraid of the most, and you scored hundred in that. How did you do that? I mean, how did you attempt the paper of math? And what was the sequence of attempting the paper? I'm very curious. Uh, so I used to complete in the starting when I. Like starting game, like uh, main smokes and stuff. I used to give like thirty minutes for chemistry, and then initially it used to be around forty-five minutes for physics, and then rest of the time I used to like spend for maths. Amazing! And do students like you also maro tukka in any of the questions? <laughs> I mean, if you have like 
fifty percent chance. Yeah, I used to. Okay. Did you? No, no. no you didn't. Did. Okay. Awesome. So, Acha Pranav, I'm again uh, asking on behalf of students. Do you want to know what are the best books that these toppers go for? So, Pranav, this is the question. What are those books that you want to suggest for physics, chemistry, maths? So, for physics, uh, during my twelfth, I followed physics, physics galaxy. and then i also followed their advanced illustration books they were like really like the theory was really in depth it helped me a lot and then uh, for chemistry i for inorganic i basically did ncert and then when i had extra time i used to do like few books or i used to like you watch youtube sessions like that got it and what's your take on the uh, j uh, kapna eklavya module so they were actually like really well balanced and they had a like, good good variety of questions like it it helps it helps you to like cover a lot of variety in a short period of time so that whenever a new question comes even even that you can you'll have some idea you won't be completely blank ever and then it also helps you to understand where your weak points are wow wonderful and one more thing so you know what uh, the group matters a lot so uh, pranav now since you are the part of the eklavya the batch i'm sure that you are part of some very uh, smart kids around you as well i only had like one or one approximately one or two months with them we always like share different approaches to solve the same problem and even sir even sir also uh, like gives his own opinion or his own approach so who are you competing with the most in this batch right now i mean there's no specific name i would say i'm just like trying to do my best cool so and uh, one more thing so who's your favorite teacher <laughs> among the group of teachers that you're studying with so all all of them are really good very sir. diplomatic huh? like that i would say three diplomatic yeah <laughs> so a uh, lot of students you know have problem solving uh, physics problems tell me through through your perspective what's your approach of solving physics problems and in general studying physics studying physics i, I always try to like go for the com- conceptual approach i used to uh, when i when i did physics in 12 uh, starting i used to read the theory and also i used to cover illustrations from the book also and then after covering covering the illustrations you get an idea how to solve the problems and what concepts you have to apply in the problems and do the students like you today do they also follow you know the the ancient books like we used to follow in our days like uh, erodo and crotto kind of books i did i did erodo a bit but then slowly you realize that those those type of questions are mostly covered in the standard books uh, now they, so they then you different. don't spend a lot of time on that another problem which you know a lot of students face uh, is with inorganic chemistry especially the smarter ones that you know yaar my maths is good i'm i'm really good with uh, physics but inorganic is boring i don't like it your take on that and what do you suggest to the students uh, i would say like you know then obviously ncert is the main thing you have to do even in advance you see most of the questions come come from ncert itself but and then it takes time but then i used to kind of enjoy a bit doing it organic organic because you don't have to like sit and write it just it just kind of relaxing a bit mm. and then Uh, the main annoying part even for me was that reading the same thing again and again but then one thing i found was that every time you read ncert again you'll again get like five or six points <laughs> so pranav uh, again very curious so you got uh, 100 in physics 100 in math 95 in chemistry why why where where, where did those five marks go that was an assertion reason cuz i think i think everyone got that wrong that's why i i got 100% and 295 so uh, i mean you don't know how nt is thinking when they made that question so everyone in assertion reason is like quite controversial type okay so it's a controversial question but it's not a silly mistake yeah. or it's not a knowledge gap that no, led no. to that what rank are you expecting in j advanced so i have no no hopes right no, now i'll i'll get a I, I'll, i'll get a rank out of you today so i want to know so what's your target so i uh, I hope I can get a CSC in like one of the top IITs. Mm-hmm. So let's say around like below 150 would be really good. Okay, so you're targeting below 150. Brilliant target to have, Pranav. And my best wishes that you not Thank under you. 150, you get under 50, right? So this is what my dream for you. Children really get inspired from toppers like you, and they want to understand uh, your your study techniques. And one important study technique is notes. So. How did you used to create your notes, and did your notes really help you in your preparation? Uh, so I used to reg- make regular class notes, and then I what something which I did was when I used to solve assignments, I I used to like make sticky notes of important points which I felt like I should add this and I should remember this. So other than the class notes, I used to only make those sticky notes. I used to add extra points like that. So, what was your? St- uh, I remember when you know I was studying physics, and there was a book called Wrestling Holiday. 
So my study technique was I used to derive uh, sort of everything as I used to keep studying the book. So what was your uh, learning style? Was it dependent on the teacher? Were you a self-study guy? What what kind of student uh, were you and are you? So like I used to like basically I used to try to follow the approaches I felt uh, like was the best. Like I like most of the times when you there are some standard questions which are there in many many places. You sometimes you find them in the books. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you will find them in the some other test series like that. So now since you're neck deep into your J advanced preparation, there are many students who are preparing for J advanced right now. So they want to know from you how should they utilize the days ahead. Uh, to prepare best for J advance, maybe a few weeks before J advance, you should start like revising everything again. Because mm-hmm. mostly now, I think most of people will be giving tests right now. And do you recommend that students? So, so not everybody has you know the hundred percent syllabus completion. Do you recommend students to pick up a weak topic right now, or do you recommend that they continue to focus only on their strong topics? Um, it depends. Like in the weak topics, if you say like inorganic, I would say you, you should do it because there are chances. Like sometimes the questions will come from that. Makes sense. So what uh, Pranav has really guided as well is you know, if it's chemistry that you want to make stronger, uh, you can really pick that portion up, like especially in inorganic chemistry. But if it is physics and math, if it's a very conceptual topic that you are weak in, it doesn't make sense to pick it up right now. Focus on your stronger topics and ensure that you attempt the problems of those topics at this juncture. Do you think that J mains and J advanced preparation are two different <coughs> boxes altogether? And what's your recommendation for students who are entering class eleventh right now? Should they focus on J mains preparation or should they focus on J advanced preparation? Or are they the same thing? I mean, there are a couple of factors which are like similar to them. Like for example, preparing for J mains will definitely help you improve your speed. Amazing, Prano. So, how are you celebrating today? So today, as a test today, and then. And then after that, I'll just uh, go out with my parents somewhere. Amazing for for lunch, dinner, or something like that. To all of you, amazing students. So this is dedication. So Prana, right now, because I I knew it. That's why I asked this question. He is in between his J advanced test uh, uh, through his Eklavya batch right now as we speak. So he just completed his portion one. Now at from 3 p.m. he will have to write the another the second part of the J advanced paper. But so this is dedication. So. All these children who have got these amazing ranks, they didn't take the day off. They are still going ahead with writing the J Advance paper, and this is exactly what you need to achieve your dreams: perseverance, hard work, dedication, and what people call a sacrifice. In my opinion, it's enjoying the journey of making yourself better, right? So, Prana, this brings me to the last question: that you know, it's been some journey for you last two years, right? And I'm sure yeah. that you have learned a lot beyond physics, chemistry, and maths in this journey, right? So I want to know what are the, your those final thoughts and tips that you want to share with the students who are preparing right now, who have one year ahead, two year ahead in front of them to crack these exams. What's your tips for them? So I would say the one of the main things is you you should definitely focus on maintaining consistency. You shouldn't like once you start something you should like just try to finish it off. And then also I would say because it's a short period of time and there's like a Lot of resources available uh, all over the internet, internet right now. So choosing the best resources and the most efficient ways to like uh, complete them or study them. That's like the main thing you should focus on. And also, I would say you should never really limit yourself that you'll only get this much rank or these many marks. Brilliant, Prano. So one more thing which reminds me. So many students who start their journey after tenth, they really are not sure about you know will I be able to make it or not. So I want to ask this question to you. So when you were moving from ten to eleven. Were you like very sure that you know that I'll crack JEE with amazing rank? No, no, not at all. I was the. I think one of the main things is you should try to enjoy preparation. You should like in one thing you have to like kind of like uh, maybe push yourself to do something, but then when you try, try start to enjoy the things, you will actually do it on your own. And then like by that in that you will just carry the momentum, and then you'll be able to like carrying it, carry carry it in the long run. It's brilliant, Pranav. Thanks a lot for talking to us, and we from the entire Vedantu team, your Eklavya batch teachers, we all wish you all the very best uh, for your J uh, for your upcoming J Advance exam as well. And we really hope that you crack under fifty rank there as well, and get the dream college with the dream branch of your choice. That is, I'm sure you're targeting CSC in yeah. these IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay colleges, right? Hopefully, yeah. yes. All the very best. and see you very you. soon chalo all the best for thank your you. second part of the j advance paper as well thank you sir
बाय बाय थैंक्स प्रोड्यूसर फाइनिंग टाइम टू टॉक टू अस थैंक यू